So I was talking about my cooling vests the other day. I have two of them. So I'm gonna show these because I have to wear these out in the heat now because I passed out a couple years ago at work after I got to work because I, my one job is outside and then I got in the car which had no air conditioner and only one window worked and I got to work and I fell out and now I wear these cooling vests. I'll show my old one in here. It's it's a regular, I don't know what you would call it. It's like an ice vest. So you wear this just like a vest and it's got these pockets. So I can't open it all the way. I don't have room. It's got these pockets and these ice packs such as this they slide down into these pockets and then when they melt you come and grab these and replace them the bad thing about that is they melt and you got to replace them and in North Carolina with the humidity if it's like a hundred degrees outside and, and there's no clouds like in the summertime and the humidity is high which it always is anyway that's gonna last about 30 minutes. Even when it's brand new, it, it won't even make like a whole hour. It's too hot here, but it does work. I mean, it does keep you cool. This is the new one. These are expensive. There's even better ones than this, but this is all we can afford right now. So this is a bladder. These are empty right now because I had to put them away for the winter. I'm about to, to redo all this. You fill these up. I have two of these. You fill them up. But you don't fill them all the way because it's ice. You know, you have to freeze this and ice expands when it, the water expands when it freezes. So you gotta leave some room. And before you put this into the vest, you have to add water because this is gonna be a block of ice. I'll explain that in a minute. This is the actual vest and this is the charger. And on the back side, it has this pocket Inside here is a battery pack, which you charge up. And then inside here is a pump. There's a pump in here. And what you do is you open that up. I'm not gonna do it right now. And you put this bladder in there. And because this is a chunk of ice, it's not gonna do anything. So you add more water to it. And then you connect the hoses to here. And it's gonna circulate that water that you just put in here around this chunk of ice and it goes through all these little th tubes these are like little tiny tubes and it circulates that water that comes from this bladder it comes in through here and then out through here so the water that you just put in here on top of this ice is going to come out here go all the way through here and back in here and run around the ice ball again and then back through here to keep you cool. This one out in the heat is pretty awesome. The last time I was out in the heat where the other one lasted about 30 minutes, this one lasted about three hours for one pack. And I was able to swap the packs and I was able to be out there all day. And this is the switch. So you can just turn this on and off as you want. And that one works really good this one was $250 though they do make other ones with these tubes they make they make these full body suits for like it goes around your head it almost looks like a thermal but with tubes in it and it goes all the way around your head your body and your like your pants the problem with that is if you're in a place where that is going to and and you're still outside you're now still wearing that as an extra layer of clothes if the water's not circulating and you're going to burn up i think that's a bad idea although if you're in a place where you can keep that going all day then i think that's actually a better idea the only problem with this one is when you're wearing it this because the ice pack is in here this sticks out a little bit like it's a little puffy and you can't really sit down like in a car. You can't like lean on it. 
Now it's not because of the bladder, it's because it's pushing on the hoses and it's making the, you're gonna burn out the pump. So that's, an, that's the only issue I have with this. If I have to sit in a car, which I bring this to drifting, and if I have to get into somebody's car as a passenger, I have to then take this back off. I will not sit against the, the hoses. So those are my two cooling vests and that's how they work. The one that outside I use for like mowing the lawn and stuff around the house. The nice one I take to events and stuff. It does look like a tactical vest when I'm wearing it, but I'm not gonna put it on right now. It's, it's just about springtime and I've gotta get that thing prepared.